Hey, thanks for the bubble wrap, Steve. I needed some more. What? Hey, what's going on YouTube? Got this box in the mail from my buddy Steve, and I was gonna do a little review of it, but it's a little bigger than I expected, so we're on the floor to make room for it. It's got some good weight, and it had a pretty good shipping price, so I'm pretty excited also. He does some ridiculous custom work, and he knows me as a collector very well. He also uh, took a little extra time getting it to me. He said, uh, I have your box just about ready, but there's one thing I'm looking for, so. He's a, he's a heck of a collector, so I can only imagine his uh, his collection looks a lot like mine. Sort of all over the place, in random boxes. Not as organized as he probably would like it, just because he has a lot of stuff. So he was probably looking for something really neat based on just the fact that he knows me very well as a collector. Let's get into this box. He also said this box was in not the most appealing shape, and I have to say he was right. It's kind of it's been used a few times. I'm imagining this box has been a. Uh, in a few different collectors' houses, sharing some nice ropes with other people. Hmm. Interesting start. Little five pack. I'm sure that's just a spacer for the top. Hey, thanks for the bubble wrap, Steve. I needed some more. What? What? You know, he sent me one of the green light little, little gas stations, golf gas station. That's awesome. You know, I'm on Instagram. You can check me out. My page is swapping underscore parts. And lately I've been trying to take nicer photos of my stuff. And I see a lot of people who have these little dioramas that they take their photos on and I think they look so awesome. I've always been debating picking one up. I just haven't brought myself to do it yet. And well, <laughs> here it is. Man, these things, these things are crazy. Like, metal doors? Man. Well, that's awesome. It's got some other parts to it. It's like a little uh, possible ramp and another side to the, to the garage. Oh, it's probably the roof or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Awesome. Thanks, Steve. My pictures are going to look uh, a lot cooler now. That's for sure. Appreciate that a lot. Now, here's what started it. I've been looking for the world's smallest, world's smallest Hot Wheels, the white variation of the Roger Dodger. I have a bunch of the blue. That seems to be all that's showing up in our area, either that or... I don't know, the second batch of three different colors showed up and people gobbled them up, I'm not sure, but either way, I, I couldn't find the white one anywhere, and I kind of stopped looking after my buddy Steve said that he was going to send one to me. So there it is. Now I finally have <laughs> the white Roger Dodger, the little buddy. So great. How small that is. It's awesome. And then he also made me a custom too, which was really cool. I had to leave my house in Florida because of Hurricane Irma. Now, if it was just me and my wife, we would have probably just hung out and just rode it out. But, you know, we're first time parents, young kid, we we took off. And I was, I was telling people about that, you know, the fact that I'm heading out. And my buddy Steve said he was going to make me a little Roger Dodger. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. How great is that? The little guy in there came out of the uh, head starter. 
and he calls it the Roger Hurricane Dodger. That's pretty sweet. I'll do a little uh, little closer up and a more of a review on that in a little bit. I have um, a few more custom Roger Dodgers, so I'm going to put together another custom Roger Dodger video. So, hey, freaking golf station. How sweet is that? Steve, thank you so much. You guys need to go check him out. Steve is just a really great guy. Super nice, super humble, does great, great custom work. He, he puts out so many customs that you think that they would slack on detail. They don't. They're absolutely phenomenal. He also, uh, if you remember um, the Matchbox gathering the winners of their custom contest, he had made... He took the tuk-tuk and turned it into a little island taxi with bamboo roof on it and all this jazz, and they picked him as one of the winners. So he's someone you should check out. I'll put a link to his uh, his Instagram in the description below, as well as spread one out here right in the bottom. Ton of Gauss Glock. Dang, Steve, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I will definitely put this... Uh, this golf station to good use in my upcoming pictures for Instagram. So you guys go check him out, ton of golf club and like it, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.